Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about the book To the Rescue, the biography of Thomas S. Monson, who was the 16th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And when I was getting ready to do this video, uh, looking at the bookshelf, I actually realized I own two of these books. So if you're looking for a copy, I don't know, let me know. I'm going to share a quick overview of Thomas S. Monson's life, and I have three ideas from the book to share with you today. I read a lot of biographies. It's probably my favorite genre, you know, reading about men and women who have done these tremendous things with their lives and had career success. But it was refreshing to read a biography about a man who went about life a little bit differently than what I'm used to reading about. I felt I should talk about this book because after reading To the Rescue, I wanted to be a better person. I wanted to be kinder, and I wanted to be more interested in the lives of those who I spend time with. President Monson was totally focused outwards. He thought about people, he cared about people, and he spent the majority of his life caring about individuals. He was humble, he was selfless, and, but yet he lived this very rewarding life. This video is for every audience, both members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as well as those who do not belong to that church because the ideas and my takeaways I'm going to share I think can be applied to anybody regardless of religious affiliation. A quick shout out, I am still very new to YouTube. I love reading and I'm planning on making more videos about the books that I read and the books that I love. So if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot. All right, so a quick summary of his life. Thomas S. Monson was born in 1927 in Salt Lake City, Utah. As a boy, he loved being outside, he loved fishing, and he loved raising pigeons. Uh, raising pigeons was a hobby that he kept for the rest of his life. And he joined the Navy during World War II uh, and was in the Navy for a little bit but never went overseas because the war ended while he was in the Navy. And after the, the Navy, he went to the University of Utah and he began his career in the printing and publishing business. And at the age of 22, he became a bishop in the church, which is extremely rare. Bishops in the church are usually older and a little bit more seasoned, but he served incredibly well. At the age of 31, he was called to be the president of the Canadian Mission, so those missionaries you see around town, he was in charge and led um, all the missionaries in Canada. And at the age of 36, he became an apostle in the church, which is one of the highest leadership positions in the church. It was a lifetime calling that put him in a position of influence. In 2008, after the death of Gordon B. Hinckley, he became the 16th president of the church and he was president for 10 years before passing away at the age of 90 years old. The book obviously goes into a lot more detail about his life, and I did learn a lot about his example um, and the way that he, he lived his life. But let's move on to my three takeaways from the book. So takeaway number one, don't forget about people. President Monson had two common sayings. First, new friends are silver, but old friends are gold. And he was also known to say, God gave us memories so that we can have June roses in the December of our lives. He remembered those from his past and he honored their lives. And as I read um, the countless times he would reach out to old friends, it made me think of my own life and those who I don't talk to as often. And I think in our lives today with social media, you know, we see a lot of what people are doing and sometimes we interact with them on social media in a, in a superficial way but we don't reach out enough and have real conversations so i guess i would say if you are thinking of an old friend or or an acquaintance while i am uh, telling you this i'd encourage you to to call them to text them to email them whatever it may be uh, but just reach out to people especially your old friends in a more genuine way uh, because like President Monson would say, new friends are silver, but old friends are gold. Takeaway number two, sacrifice personal time and forget the clock. And reading the biography of President Monson, he, it's an unending supply of stories where on his own time, on his personal time, he would go and visit you know, the sick, the needy, and friends who, who needed him. He would sacrifice his personal time and he would do that you know, day after day for his entire life. And he was, it was just such a selfless way to live a life. And President Russell M. Nelson, who was the current president of the church, who served with him for 50 years, talked about how from President Monson, 
he learned to not be so concerned about the clock. Uh, even if there's an important meeting that you need to get to, that does not you know, give you the right to ignore somebody or to be unkind. And he said, so President Nelson said, it's changed the way that he interacted with his family. He was more present. And for me and why I think this is a big takeaway is I do like to schedule out my days. I like to know what I'm going to be working on. Um, but if I get too focused on uh, what's coming up next on my calendar, uh, it puts me in a position to, to maybe forget others. And so I would encourage you guys to, to think about that. Uh, obviously, keeping a schedule is important, um, but allow some flexibility. And my third takeaway is the phrase, I know you, I'm concerned for you, and I want to help you. And this really is the, the whole premise of this book, To the Rescue. That was his call and that was his mission in life, uh, regardless of a person's occupation, race, or social standing. He uh, cared for them and he would do whatever it took to, to brighten somebody's day. And I think part of this principle is just opening your mouth and being friendly with those who are around you, getting to know those who are around you, especially those that you might not know that well. Um, but anyone you interact with, uh, you know, be kind, get to know them. You never know whose day you could brighten. So those are my takeaways. I really loved this book. If you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I think this is a must read. Uh, there's so many great stories and examples in this book. I stand in awe that there could be such a person as Thomas S. Monson, someone who cared so little about himself, but who cared so greatly about all those around him. It's an example to me, and I'm very grateful for him and his life. And I'm very grateful for this book, too, which helped me learn more about him and helped me to, to see how I could do better, how I could be better, and hopefully I will be better going forward. I hope you liked this review. Again, if you did, give it a like. Uh, if you want to add to the conversation, I'd appreciate any comments. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a great day.